when we're looking at some famous transformational leaders, these include people like Richard Branson, like the Steve Jobs, your Nelson Mandela in the political field, your JFK and Nelson Mandela. So what we're looking at here is going to be people who are going to be inspiring their followers to follow them. The leaders are going to be encouraging creativity and innovation. So what is when is this particular leadership model actually going to be useful, very effective in organisations where change is actually going to be needed? Then some would argue we're living in a very rapidly changing world and hence transformational theory is actually going to be the best theory then. But I would then argue it really depends on the situation. So if we've got very routine clear-cut tasks, perhaps the transactional or the managerial leadership method is actually going to be the best thing. So moving on to the 21st century, the leadership roles are actually going to be emerging from within the groups, within those social interactions. So in other words, we're not actually going to be looking at the role of leadership as just being occupied by an individual. So it's going to be more fluid. So it's going to be depending on what groups we've got, maybe from this particular group due to those interactions, we've got somebody who's going to be taking on a leadership role in moving forward a particular idea and so forth. 